Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be creating and explaining bundled products. And now, bundled products, we haven't gone over them yet. In fact, they're really quite useful. Uh, however, they're only useful for the right type of product. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with going to buy a computer. Uh, perhaps you're on Apple or Dell or whoever's website and you select your computer and it's the base model and that's the computer itself and then it allows you to configure components and you can say add this processor for two hundred dollars more add four more gigabytes of RAM for a few hundred dollars more whatever so uh, that is what you would use this bundled product for. Now the bundled product is a whole bunch of products that you uh, would only buy together and you can upgrade or change or whatever. So using that computer example, I'm gonna be using the sample data and I'm gonna create a simple bundled product and we're gonna enable that and see exactly that process. So keep in mind that a bundled product just like a configurable product, just like a grouped product, uh, uses simple products to fill it out. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a, uh, a bundled product. And we're actually gonna use simple products that already exist within the sample data. So uh, keep in mind that that step of the process, you're just gonna be creating a whole bunch of simple products with their SKUs, their price, whatever, like normal. And then we're gonna come to catalog, manage products, and then we're gonna add a new product. And so from here, we're going to just select uh, a default attribute set, and we're gonna go down here and select bundle product. C continue, and let's just call this uh, level up computer. And the SKU is going to be dynamic, and this is just going to be the first half of the SKU. The weight is going to be dynamic, um, so this is, um, you know, you could say that no matter what, the whole package is going to be 100 pounds, um, or you could say it's dynamic and it's generated by the individual components. And the SKU itself, this is just like a prefix, so the other parts of the skewer are added to that. Uh, we're actually just gonna keep this simple for the weight and just say it's 100 fixed. And then it's going to be enabled, of course. And uh, that should be good here. And tax class is set to none because I guess that's to do with the individual products associated. And now we just want this available in catalog and search. Now let's add our pricing, and of course it's gonna be dynamic, so we're not going to add anything here, and we're gonna see that price add up as we add our components. Our meta information here is just going to be our normal meta information. Our image, we could use any image if you want. I don't have an image ready for this. I'm not gonna bother it. That's not the most important part of this. So description, we can just put some filler text in here. I'm gonna use the same text as I used for the last video which talks about blooming tea blooms but again it's not important it's to fill up the space for this video um, now design of course we're not having anything for design like usual no gift options and we're going to say this is in stock and now you keep in mind that the individual components also have to have their stock set up correctly we want this to be available on the main website uh, for categories electronics and then we're going to put this into computers and we'll put this into build your own and now let's go to related products we're not going to have any custom options we're not going to have any in fact uh, bundle with dynamic pricing cannot include product options so don't even worry about those what the big thing here is this bundled items and this screen is going to be like something i mean it looks the same as other product screens but it's going to be something truly unique to bundled products so uh you can ship bundled items separately or together since this is a computer it's going to be built and then shipped together so we'll leave this as together and let's add a new option so this is going to say what uh, what items, you know, are, are you going to select? Since this is a computer, we want to say maybe um, processor 
and then now we can have it be a radio buttons, a checkbox, multiple select. I think a radio buttons makes sense for this and we can say absolutely this is required and the position is going to be zero because we want this to be the very first option they select. Now when you click this add you now bring up this familiar sort of uh, way to look for products and you can uh, come down here and look at specific attribute sets. So we know we're looking for a CPU. If we look at that and click search, it's going to give us all of our available CPUs. Now, of course, I don't really know which ones are going to be compatible with what, um, but I'm just going to click this checkbox and it's going to add all four of these as an option to our computer. Okay. Awesome, that's great. So we now have four CPUs available to our bundled product. Let's actually click save and continue. Um, oh, of course, one, two, three is not a unique SKU. That's my fault for always using the same SKUs. Okay, our product is saved, even though we just have uh, four different product or four different items to select as radio buttons. Let's see it in action to sort of see what's going on. Let's go to computers, build your own. And now we're going to look for the level up computer. And if we come to our build your own computers, you'll see it didn't show up. Okay, so this is a very important piece. Uh, after you add your products, you need to actually click this button. So let's come back to here to bundled items. Notice how we come back to here, we have nothing. Uh, I thought we selected something. Well, after you come here, select your CPU, we search, we click this checkbox, you then need to click this add selected products to option. Without clicking this button, nothing's going to get added, you're not going to see anything, your product's not going to show up. So let's click that, and now you'll get this other information. You'll not only see default quantities, user defined quantity, yes. Uh, we want to actually sell this to know because they can have more than one processor in this. Um, and then you could rank them in different positions. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, just for fun, we'll have these out of order. And this, uh, this one can be the default option. Now let's of course save and continue now. And if we refresh our products page, we're going to see our computer here. Um, level up computer. And notice how we have this from $98.99 to uh, $2,000. And this is because the cheapest right now that you can get away with this computer for is $98.99. And the most expensive is $2,049. And this is something that comes with the bundled product simply by just creating a bundled product. As long as your theme supports this, you're going to see this from and to. And now let's click this. And you can see we have our product information just like normal. But now we have our processor and it's a radio button. And it says, okay, uh, if we want this Intel Core one, it's going to be two grand. If we want this one, it's going to be uh, $98. And we can only select one processor here. Here is our total prices configured. And it's just like buying a computer. So let's continue to add uh, parts to our computer. So let's click Add New Option. And notice how it creates another option. If we want this to be the second thing they select, we're going to put one for uh, weight. And we can actually make this um, a drop down just so you can see some of the different options. And I probably would use, um, uh, I would probably use radio buttons again. If you'll notice, you got like apples, I think it's all radio buttons. And we're going to click RAM. We want uh, uh, memory here. And now let's click search again. And we can add our various RAM options, click add to select, add selected products to option. And we want them to be able to uh, define their quantity. So we can say they can add more than two gigs of RAM if they want, and that's cool. Okay, and let's add another new option. And this one's going to be hard drive space. So we can say 
let's see what hard drive they want. And for this option, just to show you some of the other ones, we can have check boxes because hard drives and computers, you can probably have more than one. Let's say that, I mean, this is a desktop computer, right? Uh, you could have more than one hard drive and uh, we'll give them all options here. That way, uh, you know, if you have multiple hard drives in your computer, that's always, you know, cool. So we could say they could have a default quantity of one. And let's say the one terabyte option is the default. Okay, so I think we have enough here that you get the idea. Let's save this product and let's check it out on our front end of our site. And just like any other experience when you're purchasing a computer or something like that, you could say, okay, I want the highest end processor for memory. I guess I want two gigs of RAM, even though it's not that much. And I want uh, one uh, Western digital hard drive. I also want a 500 gigabyte Western digital hard drive too. I want both of these. Um, in fact, if you wanted to be able to have an adjustable quantity like any of these fields, you'd probably do something like a radio buttons with a quantity. Um, that way they'd have to get the same hard drive. This, this checkbox is just a little bit different. Okay, so let's add to cart and let's see what happens. And instead of adding each individual product to the cart like we saw with the grouped product, we have this level up computer as one product, the complete total price and the contents of our product in here. Keep in mind, every single one of these is a simple product itself, but bundled together in this bundled product. So that's how you create bundled products in Magento. Uh, it's really flexible. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. And I invite you to see other uses other than just maybe building a computer, what you can do with this. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Uh, we love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and bye.